You can feel the tension in the air as we move into race day here in Monaco. It's a track that requires the full concentration of the drivers with zero margin for error. It tests their skills to the absolute limits, so no wonder it remains a fan favourite. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Sergio Perez on pole today. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Russell, Carlos Sainz, and Leclerc, Sonoda, Gasly, Joe, and Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, Magnussen, Valtteri Bottas, and Ocon, Albon, Ricardo, Lance Stroll, and Sebastian Vettel, Norris, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson is with me once again to take you through today's action. And we have plenty of twists and turns to come over the next hour or so, I'm sure. Now let's talk about Sergio Perez. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? And let's see who's able to keep their tyres in that temperature sweet spot early on. You've got a great tyre warmer underneath your right foot, and the drivers need to make the most of that on the formation lap, lest they see themselves skating wide at turn one on cold rubber. OK, here we go. I know what you can do.
4.9 seconds. Gap to your teammate behind is 4.8 seconds. performance. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Brand new Joe gets my vote today. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you...